A siren covered with jewelry appears on the lake, catching the eyes of a passing army, who get all greedy and excited. Suddenly, she lets out a piercing scream, which is like a cursed nightmare for the soldiers, leaving them wishing they were dead. The siren then starts to dance, and the soldiers lose their minds, charging towards her like maniacs. Meanwhile, they start savagely killing each other, until they all end up drowned in a spooky lake, turning the water into a bloody mess. But something odd happens, there's this lucky fish who managed to escape the massacre. The siren spots the guy and immediately starts screaming at him. However, it's all in vain, making her doubt her own mojo. Seizing the opportunity, the guy makes a quick getaway, but smacks into a tree trunk by accident, so does his horse. He's left with no choice but to drag his tired body into a nearby grove for a breather. Little does he know, the wicked siren is slowly closing in on him. Check this out. This siren is covered in gold and silver treasures. If you see her, you'll go mad. And if you hear her creepy scream, which is also her secret weapon, you'll forget who you are, where you're from, and start to kill your partner. But today after this big slaughter, there's one lucky fish who managed to escape. When others are busy dying, the soldier ain't harmed at all and quickly runs away. This is something the siren has never encountered in her entire career. Therefore, she gets so interested and thinks he would be her prince charming. That night, the siren sneaks over to the soldier and cuddles him into sleep. The next morning, when the soldier wakes up, he's shocked to see the siren. But he still tries to grab her and gets scratched. When he takes a closer look, he realizes those scales are pure gold. Greed starts creeping into his mind, so he starts chasing after her. He finds the siren, wriggling her body, waiting for him at the top of the waterfall. She starts doing a love dance, thinking this guy can be her protector. Little does she know, this guy's got a wicked plan brewing in his mind. Check this out. The siren is waiting for the soldier, yearning for the power of love, for the first time of her life. But her whole body is covered in sharp treasures. Just a gentle kiss makes the soldier bleed, because even her lips are covered with sharp gemstones. Even in pain, the soldier forces himself to endure. Just when the siren thinks she's finally found true love, the soldier knocks her out cold. Turns out, this soldier was born deaf, so he could escape the siren's attacks. The soldier tears off all the treasure from the siren's body, not even sparing her mask, and then pushes her off a cliff. What a stupid woman, he must think. But little does he know, the once calm lake behind him erupts into blood red waves. In a careless moment, he drinks the tainted water, and suddenly, he can hear again. Just as he's laughing, the wounded siren awakens from the water, finding herself covered in scars. Filled with anger, she lets out a furious roar. The soldier, now with his hearing restored, can no longer escape. He dances and dances, like there's no tomorrow, then slowly sinks into the lake, burying his greed alongside his heart in this dark grave. This baby has grown a pair of chicken wings on his back. Mom cleaned him up and put him in the crib. To stop Ricky from flying away, she covered him with a bedsheet and clipped it like a birdcage. In just a week, Ricky's wings grew a whopping 8 centimeters. Mom made him a new clothes as his wings kept getting bigger with feathers sprouting. To understand wings better, Mom even went to the supermarket and studied turkey wings. To prevent Ricky from hurting himself while flying, she made him a handsome and protective gear and got him a tiny helmet. Ricky flapped his wings a bit and surprisingly took flight. He kept flying towards the light. So mom quickly asked her daughter to turn it off. But Ricky loved the light, so he flew straight to the window. <laughs> Luckily, his protective gear saved him, he only lost a feather, and a little medicine fixed him up. The next day, mom took Ricky and his sister to the supermarket. And guess what? Ricky flew around in the supermarket. A baby is flying all over, and the crowd below is amazed, taking out their phones to record. An old man even asks how much the baby costs. The worried moms below chase with their shopping carts, afraid Ricky might hit the lights and get electrocuted. Soon, a bunch of firefighters arrives, but they can't catch Ricky. Mom reminds them to turn off the lights, and Ricky follows the lights, ending up near the freezer. A firefighter seizes the chance and grabs him. Millions of people surround Ricky instantly. At the hospital, the doctor tells mom that Ricky might be the first of a new mutant human species and suggests keeping him for experiments. Mom refuses and takes Ricky home, but outside, there are reporters and curious neighbors. Even at home, the news is all about Ricky. The next day, Ricky's dad shows up after disappearing when mom got pregnant. He's thrilled to see Ricky fly and decides to make money from it. Mom reluctantly agrees. The next morning, the dad already makes a deal with some journalist. They tie ropes to Ricky's feet, and Ricky flies high in the sky, catching media attention. But suddenly, check this out. This couple ties their baby up and uses him like a kite to fly up in the sky. Ricky's having a blast, flying higher and higher. But then, boom, he breaks free and flies far away, all the way to a lake. Ricky shows off with a quick water touch and then flies higher and farther until he disappears completely. He doesn't come back all night. Next day, the family starts putting up missing flyers on the streets, but it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. During dinner, they hear some bird noises outside, and mom thinks Ricky's back. But it's just seagulls. Days pass, and mom can't bear Ricky's departure. So, she goes to the lake, slowly wading in. 
As she's about to be submerged, she hears wing flaps, and there's Ricky, flying back. Now he's bigger, with 8 meter wings, and he smiles like a real angel. Mom apologizes and begs him not to leave again, but Ricky seems set on leaving. He flaps his wings and takes off into the sky, leaving Mom behind. Maybe the vast sky is Ricky's true home after all. This woman suddenly went invisible, took off all her clothes, and casually walked into a bank with her husband to rob it. She went into the bank, followed the manager inside like it was no big deal, and then openly watched the bank staff enter the safe code. But for some reason, her invisibility disappeared and got all awkward. Luckily, it kicked back in the next second. The guy at the bank thought he'd been single for too long and was seeing things. She goes over to her family all mad, asking them what the heck they did earlier. Turns out, a few days ago, a meteor fell from the sky, and since then, dad can teleport whenever he farts. Big sis learned how to fly, floating around with 300 pounds on her. Grandpa can come back to life over and over, and little sis is super strong. Little bro can understand dog language, and David, the son-in-law, has the lamest power ever. He can whistle with his fingers, so all he does is water the plants. Only when the whole family of seven is together do the superpowers work. If someone goes more than 20 meters away, bam, no more superpowers for everyone. Big sis flew up into the air, tied an iron chain to the bank window, and then little sis gave it a gentle pull, bringing down the window. The noise caught the attention of some chatty old guys on the roadside. Grandpa immediately grabbed a bucket of gasoline, sat down, filled a cup, downed it, and then pulled out a lighter to do a fire-breathing performance, followed by lighting up a cigarette. With this series of actions, the old guys were so amazed that they forgot about the bank robbery. The action continued. Dad teleported straight into the bank with just a fart. Little Sis threw Invisible Sis into the bank, and Big Sis carried Little Sis and flew into the bank. The crew first smashed all the alarm devices, then arrived at the vault door. Just as she was about to enter the vault door, Little Sis kicked the door open with one foot. In the end, she just picked up the entire safe and threw it down downstairs, and everyone hurriedly transferred the money into the car. But at that moment, sirens blared, and little bro immediately summoned his army of dogs, instantly surrounding the police. This is a smelly video. This boy has been into farting since he was a kid. This guy was already brewing a fart in the womb. Then, boom, his own fart propels him a mile away. From then on, Carter is a non-stop fart machine, driving his family nuts. They try to contain it by wrapping him up in bags, but seriously underestimated his power. The whole house shakes like crazy, and his dad turns into a mummy. The kid finds it amusing, and the dad resorts to using pipes to redirect the farts. But even that doesn't work, and the poor dad can't take it anymore, so he decides to divorce the mom. Carter joins kindergarten for the first time and brings gifts for everyone, but the kids just tease him as the fart king. However, this curly-haired kid doesn't judge him and starts playing with him. They become best buds. Turns out, he was born without a sense of smell and is a genius inventor. They grow up together, but Carter keeps getting bullied at school for farting. One day, the school invites the world's second best tenor to perform. During the peak, Carter can't hold it in anymore and lets out a massive fart. The teacher scolds him, and the whole school laughs at him. Feeling lonely and defeated, Carter leaves school. The smart friend, to prevent Carter from being disliked, designs special pants for him. These pants are breathable yet fart resistant, locking in the gas and storing it in a box. With these magical pants, Carter walks confidently. But the good times don't last. The school bully messes with him again, steals his box, thinking it's food, but opens it to a whiff of stink. The bully's face turns green. The bully and others tie up Carter, rip off his special pants, and everyone accuses him of being a farting monster. This deeply hurts Carter, and he lies to his mom about being sick to avoid going to school. His mom, sensing something's up, takes him to the hospital for a checkup. Finally, the doctor figures out that Carter loves farting because he has two stomachs. The professor calls it a useless talent, saying Carter won't amount to much. But Carter misunderstands and thinks he's got some extraordinary talent. He believes he's destined for greatness just by farting. So, thinking he's a big shot, Carter struts around like he's too good for everyone. 